let's talk about microphones. When you receive your kit, you'll have three different pieces for microphones. The charging pieces to charge the microphones, we'll talk about those in a minute. You're gonna have the actual microphone receiver kit and a lavalier, one or two lavalier kits. You're gonna go ahead and open the microphone pack. Inside, you're going to find two microphones and a receiver. Microphone 1A, 1B, and a receiver. Also in here is going to be your connection cord. And then you have two mic dampeners, windscreens, if you'd like to use those. You also will have a lavalier mic inside the case that can be connected as well. Let's talk about how to set all this up. First thing you're going to do is turn on the receiver by pushing the button on the top, hold it for three seconds, and the screen will turn on. This is how you'll see if your microphones are getting sound. Currently, you see we have no microphones connected and no sound. The battery indicator in the middle lets you know how much battery is left on the receiver. To turn the microphone on, you do the same thing. Find the label, underneath is the button, hold the button down till you see the blue lights turn on. You have two choices on how to use this microphone. You can give the microphone to the person and they can connect this to their shirt or lapel using the clip on the back. If you're in a windy environment like outside, you use the windscreen by attaching it to the top and twist. You can also use the lavalier by putting the microphone cord in the microphone slot. The person then can clip this lavalier onto their shirt. You can see the battery level of the connected microphone, the audio level of the microphone, as well as the battery level of the receiver, all from this one device. Let's talk about how to connect the receiver to the camera. First thing you're going to do is take your cord, bouncy stretchy cord here. You're going to plug one end into the audio jack here on the camera. Plug the other end into the receiver. You'll see there is an audio jack on the side next to the charging port. Then take the receiver and clip it onto the silver button right here. Slides right in and stays there. That'll allow you to see the level of your microphone from here, making sure it's plugged in. Once we have it plugged in, we're going to check the audio level on the camera itself to make sure that the camera is receiving sound. We turn the camera on and you'll see at the bottom, there is the white bars moving across the screen that are consistent with the green bars on here. That means we're getting sound and we're good to go. After you're done recording, you're going to go ahead and remove the stretchy cord from both sides to place it back in your bin. Remove the receiver. You're gonna turn this off last so you can make sure the other ones are uh, turned off. Any lavaliers or windscreens you've attached, you're going to remove them and place them back in their case. To turn off the microphone itself, you're gonna hold down that button near the end for three to four seconds. You'll see the blue lights turn off and you'll notice on your display, there's no more microphones connected. That's how you know both microphones are turned off. Now, hold down the O button on the receiver for three to four seconds until the, it turns off as well. Place all of these back in the pouch and you've put away your audio. It's important to make sure that your microphone receivers are always charged. When you get the camera kit, that should be the first thing you check. To check their battery level, turn on the receiver by holding the, the O button down for three to four seconds. You'll see the screen come on. You'll see the battery level in the middle for the receiver. Then do the same thing with both microphones, holding the O button down, turn them on till you see blue lights for three to four seconds. This will also show you the battery level 
of each individual microphone. To charge any of the microphones, take the included USB cord, plug it into the USB cord port on the side. Same goes for the receiver, plugging them in. The screen will indicate that they are currently charging with the white lightning bolt in the middle of the battery. These will hold about a five hour charge and take about 20 to 30 minutes to fully charge. When these are charging and turned off, the blue light will blink. One blue light means it's charging and turned off. When you unplug the cord, the light will turn off. Once you're done charging them, place them back in the bin. And place the charging cords back in the camera bag.